The machines we encounter every day, much like the cars, air conditioners, refrigerators, personal computers, and many more devices were made possible by mechanical engineering. Virtually every aspect of our life is touched by mechanical engineering. It can be simply put as a branch of engineering that involves the design, production, and operation of machinery. It also happens to be one of the oldest and broadest of the engineering disciplines. Mechanical engineering requires an understanding of core areas such as mechanics, dynamics, thermodynamics, material science, and electricity. In addition to these core principles, mechanical engineers use tools such as computer-aided design and product life cycle management to design and analyze manufacturing plants, industrial equipment and machinery, heating and cooling systems, transport systems, aircraft, watercraft, robotics, medical devices, weapons, and much more. History. Mechanical engineering emerged as a field during the Industrial Revolution in Europe in the 18th century. However, its development can be traced back several thousand years around the world when the first wheels were put to practical use by mounting them on an axle to make a cart. In the 19th century, developments in physics led to the development of mechanical engineering science. The field has continually evolved to incorporate advancements. Throughout recorded history, people have been inventing and building increasingly more sophisticated devices and machines in order to improve the conditions of life. Interestingly enough, one of the most significant drivers of innovation in the field of mechanical engineering, particularly in its early stages, has been war. What mechanical engineers do? The role of a mechanical engineer is to take a product from an idea to the marketplace. In order to accomplish this, a very broad range of skills are needed. Mechanical engineers need to acquire particular knowledge and complex skills. They need to understand the forces and the thermal environment that a product, its parts, or its subsystems will encounter. To design them for functionality, aesthetics, and the ability to withstand the forces and the thermal environment they will be subjected to. And they also need to determine the best way to manufacture them and ensure they will operate without failure. Perhaps the one skill that is the mechanical engineer's exclusive domain is the ability to analyze and design objects and systems with motion. The job duties of mechanical engineers depend on the industry they are in, but could include designing and implementing cost-effective equipment modifications to help improve safety and reliability, developing project specifications with colleagues, often including those from other engineering disciplines, developing, testing, and evaluating theoretical designs, discussing and solving complex problems with manufacturing departments, subcontractors, suppliers, and customers. Making sure a product can be made reliably and will perform consistently in specified operating environments. Managing projects using engineering principles and techniques. Planning and designing new production processes. Producing details of specifications and outline designs. Recommending modifications following prototype test results. Using research, analytical, conceptual, and planning skills, particularly mathematical modeling and computer-aided design. Considering the implications of issues such as cost, safety, and time constraints. Working with other professionals within and outside the engineering sector monitoring and commissioning plants and systems. How much do mechanical engineers earn? According to the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, mechanical engineers earn an average annual salary of $84,000. Please note that this figure is for guidance purposes only. Salary of an individual depends upon education, 
years of experience, skill set, demand of the job in the respected country, among many other factors. Work environment. Mechanical engineers generally work in offices. They may occasionally visit work sites where a problem or piece of equipment needs their personal attention. They work mostly in engineering services, research and development, and manufacturing. Mechanical engineers normally work about 40 to 45 hours per week. Though in some private industries or during certain project phases, weekly work can take up to 70 hours or more. Pros and cons of mechanical engineering. Mechanical engineers are visible mostly in any sections of the world today for the reason that their work could be suitable to almost any kinds of businesses. Therefore, if you are a skilled engineer, employment is likely never a problem for you. But in order to really have the best employment, you should be greatly equipped with knowledge about all things that are covered in the study of mechanical engineering. To be more knowledgeable, you could also take an advanced study course with the other subtypes of engineering. Here are some of the pros and cons of being a mechanical engineer. Pros of being a mechanical engineer. One, it's an evergreen branch. Mechanical engineers are always in demand. Therefore, if you are a mechanical engineer, employment is never a problem if you are a truly skilled engineer. Two, wide range of subdisciplines. There is a wide range of subdisciplines available in mechanical engineering. You can specialize in automobile engineering, aerospace engineering, marine engineering, mechatronics engineering, and many more. With such a broad range of career opportunities, you are very likely to find something that suits your needs. Three, excellent pay potential. You get paid a lot if you are experienced and have good technical and management skills. Once you get placed in a good company, you don't have to worry about your future. Four, exciting workplaces. Becoming a mechanical engineer could take you to some interesting places, such as oil rigs, deserts, the deep sea, automobile industries, and power industries. If you are specialized in designing, you can work in an office environment. Five, global opportunities. There isn't a country in the world that doesn't need mechanical engineers, and there are a number of mechanical engineering courses which can testify to that. Six, innovations for the future. Mechanical engineers are at the forefront of future technologies. Mechanical engineers are developing new technologies for a number of industries, including transportation, construction, robotics, and much more. You could discover, invent, innovate, design, and create amazing products if you are a sound mechanical engineer. Seven, respected profession. Mechanical engineering is a well-respected profession. Mechanical engineers are considered an important part of the community, and without them, progress of global community and development of the modern world is impossible. Now we'll move on to the cons. Number one, competitive atmosphere. Although mechanical engineers do receive favorable advancement opportunities, generally these don't come easy. It is difficult for new graduates to get placed in good companies unless they are in some very good colleges or have great skills. With the exception of self-employed mechanical engineers, which can be difficult without prior experience, the best paying jobs in the field often come from large or multinational corporations whose working environments have become increasingly competitive due to recent economic conditions. Fresh graduates start out as low as assistant or associate engineers and undergo thorough training and evaluation for a year or two, after which a few get promoted. Promotions are heavily performance based. As an engineer gets bumped up to a higher level, competition gets more serious. Also, it is very well known that good companies don't like to recruit new mechanical engineers. They like the experienced ones. Two, educational requirements. The minimum requirement for entering the field is a bachelor degree in mechanical engineering or a closely related subject course. 
undergraduate studies must cover math, physics, chemistry, solid and fluid mechanics, thermodynamics, material science, process control, and equipment design. These would help a fresh graduate get a job, but may not be sufficient to guarantee a career. Companies encourage their engineers to take graduate studies, often offering tuition, subsidies, and promotion opportunities as incentives. This is done over and above the necessary short courses, seminars, conferences, and development classes required to keep engineers current. Three, extreme pressure. With great importance comes significant job pressure. The projects you head up as a mechanical engineer are sometimes massive in scope and budget. Significant failures can lead to losses for your company or a raise in the company's insurance premiums. Problems with your work can hurt your employer's reputation or your own. There are a lot of costs and risks involved with the job. Hence, there is a lot of pressure as liability can become high on errors. 4. Workload and Hours Another downside a mechanical engineer faces is the unpredictability of his workload. Your work may vary from week to week. For instance, in a manufacturing plant, a mechanical engineer does routine maintenance and process control work in one week, while the next week sees him working on another project. A more dynamic person may find this interesting but for someone who prefers a routine workload may find it difficult to handle. Also, it will not be a tie and suit job, working day in and out in a well-furnished office unless you are in a designing field. Mechanical engineers normally work about 40 to 45 hours per week, though in some private industries or during certain project phases, weekly work can take up to 70 hours or more. Five, coursework can be quite difficult. If you don't have the aptitude for it, then you might not be able to get through the study phase. You can easily get bored if you're not interested in this field. Also, the amount of stuff you learn at the university is negligible to what you do in industry. In industry, you'll probably solve a problem that has never been encountered before. Well, if you're planning to become a mechanical engineer, consider talking with some real mechanical engineers in the workforce who have good work experience and consider reading engineering blog articles to get an idea about engineering life. Let's talk a little bit about future progression as we wind down. The prospects for mechanical engineers overall are expected to be good. The field of mechanical engineering is expected to grow 9% from now to 2026. As fast as the average for all occupations as mentioned by the US Bureau of Labor Statistics. Job prospects may be the best for those who stay abreast of the most recent advances in technology, particularly for those with training in the latest software tools, computational design and simulation, and have experience or training in three-dimensional printing will have better job prospects. Such tools allow engineers and designers to take a project from the conceptual phase directly to a finished product, eliminating the need for prototypes. Mechanical engineering students who can learn to create virtual simulations before proceeding to the design, build, and test stages might find themselves in high demand by companies because these skills will allow firms to reduce product development cycles. Having a core understanding of the subject soft skills, and good grades from a highly rated institution should give a job seeker an advantage over the competition.